I'm Amber Ruffin from The Amber Ruffin Show. Now, Donald Trump lost the election, but before you know it, some other idiot will run for office spouting the same hateful ideas. Now, how do we make sure that the media doesn't give him a platform like they did with Trump? Well, one of our writers, Shantira Jackson, has the answer in a segment called Journalism 101. What up, nerds? Now, most people don't know this about me, but I actually went to school for broadcast journalism, and I have been really disappointed in how news has been reported in the last four years. Trump and his administration have spent the majority of his presidency lying to us, and news outlets have spent a majority of their time letting them do it. And that's f***ed up, because that's not what the news is for. The news is for info on how to adopt dogs locally. The news is for letting you know what stuff in the grocery store has E. coli. It's usually lettuce. And above all else, news is supposed to give viewers unbiased information so they can make informed decisions. So I'm going to show y'all some journalism basics because news stations seem to have forgotten what they're here for. And in order to prevent another fascist, racist, broke ass bitch from rising to power, we need to know what to do. So roll the clip. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. I'm going to stop it right there because he is lying. When the president lies or when any politician is lying, journalists need to tell people and they need to use the word lie, not fib, not misunderstanding, not even white lie, even though they are white and they do be lying. You see, fibs don't put people in cages and misunderstandings don't steal SCOTA seats lies do. And since y'all are definitely picking up what I'm throwing down, we're going to try another one, okay? Roll the clip. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. We did win this election. Right there. It was so fast, you almost missed it. But that was another lie. And you see what I just did? I called it out. Lies can be sneaky and confusing, but you just got to treat lies like unattended baggage at the airport. When news org sees something, they gotta say something. Because if left alone, it could blow some shit up, like our democracy. And it's okay if regular folks out there didn't know it was a lie, because a good news station will do what I just did and sound the alarm. Co red, bitch. All right, let's watch another clip. <laughs> You see? You see how we cut away before he even started talking? That's because we do not give platforms to people who spread misinformation. And I need journalists to remember that moving forward. Journalism has a code of ethics. And we're going to have to unlearn everything that we've learned to put up with in the last four years. Do you feel that? Did that feel good? That was me telling you the truth. And you should get used to it and expect nothing less. And even if you're ever confused, all you got to do is come right back here and review these tips from Journalism 101. Because I promise, we're never going to lie to you.